President Emerson and Gagwa's visit, together with Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, to check on MDCT President Morgan Van Iri recently, sought to persuade the opposition leader to back postponement of elections until 2021, self-exiled Jonathan Moyo has said. And Gagwa, who ascended to the country's president following a military coup last November, has repeatedly assured the nation of free, fair and credible elections this year. Moyo said Angagwa's unconstitutional government is set on subverting the will of the people to the extent of desperately seeking to extend its grip on power through a military coup by delaying the election as long as possible. The G40 kingpin dismissed Angagwa's promises to have elections in the next six months. We know that when Angagwa and Chai Wengo went to Morgan Van Iri's house, the opposition leader in Zimbabwe, they pretended that they were concerned about his health and so forth, said Moyo in an interview with the BBC on Thursday. But we know they wanted to negotiate with him to postpone elections for at least three years, they are afraid of elections. They do not want to have free and fair let alone credible elections. The two visited Van Iri, who has been battling cancer of the colon for two years, last week. And Gagwa promised to assist the coalition government prime minister with treatment costs and also guaranteed that he would be getting a pension. Moyo, who has been in self-imposed exile since the military coup of November last year, asked whether he was going to remain a fugitive and his chances of returning home, said the illegalities happening under the illegal government will soon be halted as and Gagwa will be made to account by the masses. Already Zimbabweans are asking fundamental questions about what happened, why it happened and they will want to see restoration of rule of law, constitutionalism in Zimbabwe and they will get it, he said. The impression given by Moyo during the interview is that the majority of Zimbabweans are against Angagwa's presidency because it was born out of an illegal process where political opponents were arrested, tortured and threatened while former President Robert Mugabe was forced into resigning. 